today, let's look at two paintings and analyze them. The paintings are from the 19th century, and our analysis will use a medieval framework. I found this framework in a collection of older Chinese writing, and I hope you will find it useful to apply to paintings too. So here is my interpretation of the framework. We have six areas, beginning with one, the energy of the painting. What feeling do I get from this? Two, the brushwork. Can we see or find evidence of how the art was made? Three, our world represented. What is there in the painting that we might recognize as like something or someone from our own experience? Four, color. How are colors used and distributed? Five, parts. How is everything arranged? And six, the context. Where does this painting fit within time, place, tradition, or any novelty or uniqueness of the painting? Okay, so this is The Great Wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai, uh, painted in 1873. And the feeling I get from this is being thrown about by something bigger than me. I know from Wikipedia that this painting was printed using ink, paper, and wood blocks. There are people in boats, there is Mount Fuji in the background, and there are waves represented in this painting. There is a limited amount of colors. We see blue, brown, gray, and white, and nothing else. The waves are large, particularly the one in the top left, and we do see some bit of sky with Mount Fuji having a distinct dark gray around it. Hokusai is a fondly remembered Japanese artist, and he was an influence on European artists uh, in Paris as well. This painting has often been used and imitated because of its iconic look. This painting is called September, and excuse my pronunciation, but it is by Eric Verenskiold, painted in 1883. The feeling I get from this painting is being young and being in a familiar environment. It is painted to give a close approximation of what the painter saw, an approach called naturalistic painting. We see two youths at a fence outside in the country air with some buildings nearby. The green of the grass, trees and forests contrasts with the youth's clothes and the red-brown buildings. The youths are center left, the village top right, with a central fence and surrounding plant life. The painting is by a Norwegian artist whom I discovered researching the literature of sagas from Scandinavia. Verenskiold was known for his landscapes that had human figures in them. September is a time of autumn in Scandinavia. I hope you will have now heard how the medieval art framework can be applied to paintings. Here's another one of the 19th century, this time closer to home in Sydney. Why don't you try analysing this painting using the framework?